Hey guys, it's time for another Poshmark Q&A. It's another day, another Poshmark Q&A. First question. I have such a headache today. I always get headaches whenever I wear, well, this is like kind of a tight headband, but whenever I wear like tight headbands or if I wear my hair up, I always get a headache. Is anyone else like that? That's why I never wear my hair up. Only like if I'm like cleaning or if I just don't want to deal with my hair because like nine times out of 10, it gives me a headache. Okay. First question. Quick question. When you drop the price of an item, it sounds out a shipping discount notification to the likers. Does that offer apply to the likes after the price drop? Thank you for the feedback. Oh, who's here? Oh, UPS is here. Well, well, you can just drop off the package and be on your way. That happens during closet clear out. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, and I honestly don't no. I know a while ago it used to be that if somebody liked your item on Closet Clear Out Days after you had lowered the price, then it would send them that offer. I don't know if that is still the case. I'm honestly very unsure. I will do some research uh, when I'm editing this video and put your answer here on the screen somewhere. Next question. Hey, I was wondering if you know how to find style numbers to get the exact product name. By the way, thank you so much for all your videos. I'm learning so much. Very grateful. Oh, thanks for watching Mixed by Sophie. Okay, so um, do you know how to find style numbers to get the exact product name? I know that not every item is going to have a style name. Um, let me see if I can find something for an example. Hold, please. Really, the only brand that I can usually find a style name for is Lululemon. And that's only if they have like the letters and numbers on their little size dot. Um, some Lululemon items just have the size dot with a number. They don't have the letters and the numbers that go around it. I'll insert a picture. I don't have anything Lulu near me right now, um, but I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm looking at this Nike uh, tank top. The first letters and numbers, it says SU17. So that means this came out summer of 17. I don't know if the rest of the numbers, obviously they mean something. Um, and yes, it's probably a style name. Every brand's going to be different. Um, I, d I don't know. I mean, I guess you could Google, you know, for like particular brands, like where is the style number located? Like what, which numbers on here are the actual style numbers? I guess I could Google it. All right. Hold on. So I would assume that the style number here is the um, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine numbers below the M. I don't know if you guys can even see that because my lighting is very bright and my nails are gross. So yeah, that's what I would assume because on shoes, it's a nine digit style number. So let's actually look this up. Let's see. It's not coming up with with this particular uh, product. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there is definitely a style number somewhere. Um, every brand is gonna be different. It's, it's you know, a matter of asking the Google where the style number is located. If they have a style number, is gonna be on like an inside tag like this. Not necessarily, oh, this is a bad example. This is like a uh, printed on size tag. Yeah, it is going to be on one of these tags, um, like a materials tag. See, this is the RN number. Um, and then so the bigger tag right there. And then there's a little guy underneath. I know Nike always has like these little guys underneath that, you know, say the season. Sometimes they put the tags on the shoulders and most of the time it's like on the sides. And I don't know, sometimes it can get annoying. So I just rip out the tag and I know other people probably do that too. You might not be able to find that. Another tip I have is to join Facebook groups. Facebook groups are so helpful, like Poshmark Facebook groups or like thrifting in general Facebook groups because people on there are so helpful. You know, you can post a picture of something and, um, you know, the majority of the time people are very helpful and nice and will help you figure out like what the hell the item is that you have. Next question. Congratulations on your fifth party. I applied several times to host a party. I get no response. I sent an email to Poshmark asking why my application has never been approved. They sent back their automated response. We will respond in 24 hours. Still no response. I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there are too many people applying or is it that I don't have the social media output that the party hosts do? With no response, I have no idea how to get myself the opportunity to host a party. I'm going to send an email once again today to see if someone will respond. I know it's not a big deal and it's a lot of work, but I would like the exposure for my closet and I'm trying to do this full time. What could I be doing wrong? Nothing, Debbie. Hi, by the way, you're awesome. I always see your comments. Um, you're not doing anything wrong. It's annoying. Poshmark, <laughs> they're not the best at replying to people. And 
uh, you're right. There are a lot of people that apply to host parties. Um, usually when I apply, it takes, um, let's see, I hosted one in July, August, September, October, November. I think it was July. Yeah. I think it was, was it July or August, either July or August. So it took like three to four months for them to want me to host another one. Yeah, you're not doing anything wrong. And no, you don't have to have like a social media following. You don't even have to have a big Poshmark closet. If you like go to the different parties, like you can go on your app right now and go to the different parties for today. You can check out the host closet and their follower range will vary. Like you'll have some people, like I've seen people with like hundreds of thousands of followers. And then I've seen people with like 5,000, 10,000, you know, 50,000. So it definitely ranges. They're not just looking for people with like a large following to host. Um, but yeah, you're not doing anything wrong. I know it's frustrating. I would just keep reaching out to them. Just keep reaching out to Poshmark and just saying like, hey, you know, I don't know how long it's been. You said you applied several times. I don't know like the time frame of those several times. Um, but yeah, I would just keep on them. I understand that is frustrating. But again, there are a lot of people that are applying to be hosts um, and you know, Poshmark really needs to get better at just communicating, just communicating, communicating. They really do. They really suck at communicating. So uh, that is it for this video. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below. Send me a DM on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter. If you are new to Poshmark, I think someone's gonna knock on my door in a second. Hello, hello. If you're new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. My code is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.